Hi everybody, Howard Sherman here at Crowdfund Buzz. Today I'm going to be taking on the role of a superhero, Captain Obvious. We're going to go over some basic material right now that can help you big time with making more sales, raising more capital, and doing more for your company now than at any other time. Now this may not apply to you necessarily. We're, we're going to find out. And that is determined by what your company offers, okay? If you have a product or a service that the public could use, need, or enjoy right now, you are, for the time being, a unicorn stock, a unicorn company. You're in the sweet spot. You've got something everybody wants. I'll begin with Lee's Discount Liquors in Las Vegas. They have about a dozen locations across the Las Vegas Valley. All right. Um, Governor Sisolak of Nevada ordered a mandatory shutdown of non-essential businesses. Now, liquor's debatable. I don't know the whole story. I think they may have volunteered to close. But the story here had it clear that you know, people lined up buying liquor while they still could last month. All right. Yeah. In fact, yeah, they closed the stores on March 22nd and right for closing time, you know, last call, as they say, look at the lines to the cashiers picking up what they can while they could. Okay. So what happened is recently Las Vegas passed an ordinance allowing um, retailers like Lee's Discount Liquors to sell liquor and deliver it to residents. Now, this very smart company, local chain, only in the Vegas Valley, not nationwide, not even regional. They are only in the Valley. That's probably all they need to make a good living. They got the news. Mr. Lee got a call from the city of Las Vegas saying they would allow delivery. My location is the city of Las Vegas. In the city of Las Vegas. Jim McConnor, EVP, Operations for Lease. Part of this, we have not been in the delivery business, so we're trying to walk before we run. We're taking advantage of the city's generosity, and we're getting into the delivery business. See, here's the thing. They saw an opportunity, and they jumped on it. They wanted to close their stores. I guess it makes sense. They have tight aisles. Uh, really not a lot of room here to move around or navigate too much. So whether by mandate or by choice, they closed their stores on March 22nd. This article on April 3rd announces home delivery service of liquor. Woohoo! Go Vegas. So what happened? These guys jumped on it, applied for this, this, this license. They were approved. They got the temporary permit. Just like grocery stores, you know, they said, hey, we want in too. They got it. And what happened next? Dozens of orders were received in the first hour. In the first hour of this coming out, they had dozens of orders. Now, what they do? They alerted the media. The Las Vegas Review Journal is the biggest newspaper in, well, Las Vegas. And also, the media got involved. All the local channels picked it up. The local Fox, CBS, NBC, NBC. Everybody jumped on this. You know, Lee's Liquors, now to your front door. All right, so they did a big media push. Now, mind you, they spent not one dollar on advertising. No commercials, no radio spots. This was a pure public relations play. All right, and the first hour, crazy orders. Oh, wait, let's hear one of this. Most Louis come with it with a $10 Delivery charge. This is important. Now, to, to get a better understanding of, of the market here in Las Vegas, if you if you order food from Grubhub or DoorDash or whatever, the average delivery charge could be, let's say, five bucks. Some are free. Some are two ninety nine. Some are six ninety nine. But let's say, on the whole, in the main, delivery is five bucks for food. Top end fee seven dollars. They're, they're whacking on a $10 delivery charge to bring liquor to your house. Now, check this out. The drivers 
work right for Lee's Liquor. They're not independent contractors. They're not in their car roaming around the valley, picking up food from here to there and there to here to houses. So the drivers dispatch from the store, bring the liquor right to the customer. That, that cuts out a stop in terms of the driver having to first get the order, go to the restaurant, pick up the food, and bring it to you. Then we had the big mess of like spillage, you know, sauces, uh, gravies, uh, you know, cheese on a pizza, uh, soda spilling over, that kind of thing. So they have none of the waste, none of the mess, none of the hassle, and a good chunk less work. And they're charging more money for it than anybody else in town. That's balls. And you got to admire that. There's, they see the demand and they're charging a premium for it. And they're getting away with it. For hour one, orders kept flooding in. Now, also, bear in mind this. Factor number two in this fee. People can still buy liquor in Las Vegas. You might not know this. Uh, friends of mine were shocked to learn the truth, too. You can buy hard liquor or wine or beer in Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and any supermarket of any, of any magnitude, like Smith's, Kroger's. Albertsons, you know, those are the big local chains around here. You back east, we shop right. If you're in uh, California, LA area, maybe it'll be Gelson's or uh, or Ralph's or whatever it is. So you could buy liquor. You can get in your car and go buy alcohol at regular retail prices and avoid the ten dollar delivery fee. People said, "Nah, that's okay. I'll stay indoors where it's safer, and I'll pay the ten dollars." And Knowing this full well, bam, 10 bucks. You can buy a meal for your family tonight. Order from DoorDash or Grubhub or Postmate or whatever. You're going to pay a lower delivery fee for food. All right? So, oh, and one more thing about this fee. I'm not complaining about it. I'm not ranting about it. I'm admiring the beautiful brilliance of these business people. They're not sharing this money with any service. Like delivery from Grubhub or DoorDash, it's not free to the restaurant. They're they're paying, you know, they're paying for that. In fact, in fact, you want to see a good one, go shop a restaurant, you know, uh, a menu online. You know, again, DoorDash, Grubhub, whatever, Uber Eats, whatever. The pricing from that website is usually higher than the menu price at the restaurant. Why? They have to cover the cost they pay to these services to bring you the food. They're not paying that fee. So that $10 less a direct labor cost in terms of payroll, the rest is profit. Brilliant. All right. So they get the good news about being approved for a permit temporarily. They make their phone calls to the uh, review journal they call up the local affiliates of CBS, NBC, ABC, and Fox. The word gets out on April 3rd. Breaking news. Can you guess what happened next, boys and girls? Check this out. Overwhelming demand leads to halt of Lee's online ordering. Whoops. Okay. Um, the, okay, the update of the original story. So this was story originally updated three days later so th uh three days after this news comes out they had to push the pause button on the whole thing about delivery why too many orders orders flew in early leaves had to pause it's a new order saturday afternoon wait what day was saturday fifth yeah the fifth oh well fourth Shit, one day? Okay, follow the math here. The news breaks on Friday, April 3rd. The very next day, they had to pause operations because they were making too many sales. Now, folks, friends and neighbors, boys and girls, if you're in business, there is one problem that you want to have. You want to have the problem of too many sales. That's the one problem you want to solve. How do we handle all these sales? 
We're making so much darn money, we can't handle it all. That's a problem you want to have. And Lee's, you know, embraced that. And uh, this is the original article, pretty much. Update is up here. Um, apparently, they're, they're resuming orders relatively soon. This is almost the same exact article as before. Retooled. But um, you got know, $10 charge, uh, delivery person, blah, blah, blah. Cool problem. 50 people drove up in their cars, looked at the sign of the door that's closed, and then drove away. Ouch. And they solved the problem. They have people want, and they found a way to deliver it right to the front door, and... I'll bet you at 10 bucks a pop on delivery, they're going to make more money now on alcohol sales, allowing for payroll costs than before. And they're going to be freaking heroes in the long term by, by brand building as being the answer guys to a big problem. Because, yeah, if you, don't think, if you don't think folks are drinking more nowadays, guess again. Anyways, um, as far as I know, Lee's has resumed operations uh how you commit to another thing we are we are accepting online orders over the phone over the phone Woo. not very efficient but god oh they're hiring too how about that in this economy with these current times these guys are hiring people you want to have a new hero in terms of small business lee's discount liquor is hiring people during this huge downturn and they're, and they're making money at it. Okay, guys? So he, this is the end of case study number one. Money can be made right now. Money is being made right now. People are booking record sales right now. As I shoot this YouTube video on April 7th, 2020, there are companies out there making record revenue, building their, their brand, expanding their customer base, and, and making it happen. You need to be at this party. Next slide, as they say. Okay, next party. Telemedicine. Right now, one of the hottest things in the world today is telemedicine. This article for the journal says it all. The headline is the whole thing in a nutshell. Once a hard sell can't keep up with demand. Again, this is a problem that you want to have. You want so many clients banging on your door that you can't handle them all. Okay, maybe you can't scale fast enough. I get that. Maybe you want, you're worried about there being an impact on the client experience. I get that. Get this. People are going batshit at home all day with the wife, with the kids, with themselves, or even alone, which is probably maybe even worse. Bottom line is everybody wants telehealth, whether it's a doctor, a specialist, or a therapist. We have a client prospect who's still sitting on the fence watching the world go by as this article made front page news. Uh, true story. I'm not going to get the screenshot up, but trust me when I tell you, this article made the front page of the Wall Street Journal the day it was published. And I told the prospect, why aren't you on the front page of the journal? Why aren't you on Fox News and CBS and the Today Show and all the rest? I sent him clips for a week. Look at all the media that's going out there. Look at all the different media outlets covering in his space, it was therapy, teletherapy. And his answer was, well, I spent so much money last year building the platform, onboarding therapists, the recruiting process, the vetting process. I said, well, that's great. Now's your time to reclaim your entire investment and make some money. And then he ghosted. And by the way, I hate ghosts. Whew. With a passion. So never got back to me. 
and everybody else is making a lot of money except him. Because I'm going to only guess and speculate, he was afraid to spend money on a PR campaign that would get him in the Wall Street Journal, or the New York Times, or the Washington Post, or the San Fran Chronicle, or the LA Times, or all over TV. I mean, a guy like this, I can get him on front of any camera or microphone with an hour's notice. Usually we hear a crowdfund buzz, we give folks media training, and we coach them. We went through simulations of going on the radio, a live interview, or uh, going in front of a camera in a studio. Uh, in, in times like these, that is all out the window. You could be a, 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 a fucking mannequin in front of a camera. As long as you can look in the camera and say something meaningful, they'll put you on the air, no questions asked. I promise. Because the media is, is clamoring for these kinds of stories. You know, the liquor li 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 home delivery, telemedicine, teletherapy, feel better while you're home. You're stuck in. That's okay. Uh, this morning on um, uh, the CBS National Morning News, you know, um, they opened up with how all of the crisis lines for suicide prevention, just out, out volunteer organizations, they can't handle all the phone calls. This guy probably lost, if I had a guess, knowing his scale at the time we first had a conversation, he probably lost $1 million in revenue by sitting on the fence and watching the world go by and everybody else making money other than him. And the sad part is, actually, this is a five-part sad story. The, the thing that that's the most sad is that people need his services. His therapists are right there, ready to help people. They signed up. They're on the team. They're on the platform, waiting for inbound customers to talk to, to treat, to help. And those people do not know about this service, so they're not getting help from him and his company. They're going to the hot, the hotlines. They're going to uh, the ranting on Facebook. They're babbling on Twitter because there's nothing else they can do because they're not aware of, of his offering. Who suffers most? The public. And all those people he wanted to help. They want the help. They need the help. He can deliver the help. But he didn't plug in the PR, the PR machine to get the word out there and let the public know this man and his company was built to help you and they're standing by. That's the biggest shame. After that, the therapists, they're stuck at home too. They may not be tech savvy. Maybe they don't have the facilities, uh, the bandwidth, the camera, the, this or, or whatever to facilitate remote therapy. And these poor people are losing money because this man couldn't pull the trigger. I mean, theoretically, He's sitting on a whole lot of firepower, but has no trigger finger. Who loses next? Anybody that already invested, his partners, himself, his wife, his friends, his neighbors, whoever already invested in this guy's company, and he's crowdfunding right now for equity. I'm not going to say where. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to name shame. I'm not going to plug him. He will get no PR from me, but he'll get no shame from me. Everybody so far that's lined up money to get this thing to market including him and his wife and his children, they're all suffering because this man could not pull the trigger on the hottest damn thing other than gaming. All right? Don't let this happen to you. If you have a hot product or a hot service that people need or people want, now is not the time to keep it a secret. Get out there, get known, and get paid. You want to be Lee's Liquor, shutting down operations until you figure out how to handle the demand. That's the problem you want. You don't want the problem of how do folks find me? How do they know who I am or what I'm doing? Okay, you want this problem. You don't want this problem. Well, yeah, well, you do want this problem. 
But, I mean, if you're out there and you got the thing going on, therapy, liquor, food, medicine, classes, um, gaming, I mean, you are in the prime position to get on the map, build your brand, expand your client base, and raise capital. Good public relations right now checks every box. And by the way, shameless plug at Crowdfund Buzz, that's exactly what we do. Next slide, please. Shock. Nintendo Switch sold out. Um, blah, blah, blah. Shortages. Uh, they can ship you a, a, a Switch in about three weeks. Yay! Uh, coming soon. Yay. Publisher blames coronavirus. Uh, blah, blah, blah. RPG, five best gaming deals, USA Today. Nintendo Switch price at Amazon. Now, <laughs> well, supply and demand kicks in, boys and girls. If you have something that people want to buy, prices go up and people make more money. That is one more example of capitalizing on COVID-19. If you have something the public wants and it's in short demand, I'm sorry, short supply, <laughs> and demand is high, supply is low, prices go up, and people make money. Are they price gouging? No. They're not charging nine bucks for Roll Charmin, but they are they are in, within their rights to charge a premium to deliver you something to you that you want now that you can't get ordinarily. Next screen. Nintendo Switch was upgraded or choke on the dust of Xbox and PS5. Yeah, Pro Edition. Okay, that, that's tech shit. Um, game pulled or cooked jacking. Interesting. Cryptocurrency, Nintendo Switch, deletes cooking mama. Best games. Not, not what I want, not what I want. Yeah, that true story. So yeah, forget these two guys. Forget the Xbox and, and the PlayStation. Nintendo owns 2020 because everybody is buying this console like nobody's business. Save on this. Okay. All these articles. Why? People are home with nothing to do. Click. Where to buy a Switch? 13 hours ago. Because you, 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 you basically can't. And, um... So everywhere now, zooming out of the, the Nintendo brand, uh, there are problems happening now on the Xbox the Xbox platform and the Sony. Everybody's going online. the The online platforms that facilitate gaming are crashing. I mean, uh, Forbes had an article out I read recently. Uh, let's see. Forbes Cloud Gaming. I don't know. Well, I know I read it. I know it was in Forbes. Oh, this could be it. Yeah, here it is. The impact of coronavirus on tech. From Nintendo Switch shortages to cloud and gaming servers creaking. Here it is. Uh, there's a point behind this. Trust me, I'm getting there. Uh, great piece in Forbes. All the gaming platforms are groaning under the weight. Bandwidth demands, uh, actual product shortages. Thank you for the ad. I hate ads. Out of my face. Thank you. Oh, I got to play you? Well, then I'll make sure I ignore you. See, ads really don't work. They just annoy people. And okay, well, goodbye, Ed. You're you 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 are dead to me, Mister Ed. Uh, Amazon is also already seeing Netflix, Disney, YouTube. Right, everybody that can deliver services to people stuck inside 
are having a crazy good time in the profit sense. No one takes joy in this. No one's happy at this happening. Um, I'm stuck at home too. I go out like, other than walking my dog every morning, uh, I don't go out much anymore. Uh, Microsoft demands 775% increase in server load. And that's Microsoft. And they have to cope with this. They have very good problems. Okay? You want the same kind of problems. If you're a gaming company, and I, I know one right now, and I hope they're watching this video, you're sitting on a product in the gaming world that a lot of people want, but many people actually do need. You're sitting on a great product, and, and you're sitting on the bench and not getting in the game at a time when you can score touchdowns day after day, shipping product, because they're on your website for sale, raising capital, because you're on a platform doing an equity raise, building your brand, and becoming a name. Okay? You're missing out. And that goes for anybody. To wrap up my, my three case study um, contained tirade here on YouTube, if you have, I'll say this one more time, if you have a product or a service that can be delivered to people's homes and they can use or enjoy this offering and you're not doing everything in your power to let them know about what you got, you're leaving money on the table. Now, my boy in telemedicine, teletherapy, I think that while maybe he won't do it now, I think that down the road, he's going to be very, very angry with himself and very upset at when he finally realizes and it dawns on him that his single best golden opportunity, no, not golden, platinum opportunity to raise capital, book revenue, and get on the map, he let it slip away. And I'll get into the repeat. It's a funny one. Don't let this happen to you. You want this problem. You want too much demand. You want overwhelming sales. You want to be this place too. You want to be able to, to fight this problem. You want to solve this problem. You want to solve the problem of you can't keep up with demand. That's the problem you want, okay? Gaming too. Every sector. If you can deliver a really tasty food or treat and you can do a Kickstarter and have those brownies out the door in the mailbox tomorrow out to people, do a Kickstarter. If you have a, a skill, knowledge, product, service, something, anything that can bring joy and comfort or can, can satisfy a need right now, you are wasting money. All right? that That's really not where you want to be. You bought it home? Cool. I saw a TikTok video with uh, Alyssa Milano. It was funny as hell. Hashtag uh, bored at home, I think. Stuck at home, bored at home. Funny video. Uh, went viral. Now, Alyssa Milano can't really work from home. She's an actress, and there's no shooting going on on TV or movies. But she's doing a, a, a funny TikTok video. You know what? Spend less time on the TikTok videos the YouTube videos, other than this one, and less time with the meme shares on Facebook, and more time figuring out how can you capitalize on COVID-19, bringing a need, bringing a joy, bringing pleasure, bringing something of value to the marketplace today, which desperately needs things and wants things. All right? Think it over. Reach out to us. We're happy to have a chat with you about what you got, what's going on, and how we can help you. You want to be in newspapers? I'll, I'll get you there. Guarantee it. If you got something hot and smoking right now, I'll put you on the air tomorrow. I guarantee it. Radio, TV, in front of a camera, on a mic, no problem. The media is desperate for this feel-good stuff. Not only the, the death count and who got infected today, they want the feel-good stories. 
you know, this company brings liquor. These guys have a giving product that helps you with your, with your dry and chapped skin. These guys here are bringing therapy to people stuck at home. You know, I can make it we here on the media in no time at all. Reach out, think about it, and after you think about it for about 60 seconds, jump on it. Get in touch with us. We'll put you on the air. We'll put you in the news. We'll put you in the spotlight. Bring it.